Bolt, the billionaire owner of Russia's most expensive football club, Angie, is planning to slash the budget by two thirds. Mr. Solomon Kirimov, Russia's 19th richest man with a fortune of seven billion dollars is planning to sell some of the world's top players to achieve his goal. And as you can see, the stars, they do not come cheap. Now, this is a change of tact for Mr. Kirimov, who splashed out more than $180 million last season. Now, one of the reasons for his belt tightening could be down to the fact that his potash empire, Eurocali, recently took a battering on the stock market, dropping 20% after the collapse of the world's biggest cartel fell through. So for more on what's behind these cuts and the, the implications on the sporty side of thing, I've got the fairy lady just here, Kate Partridge, our sports host. Uh, tell me, what do you make of these cuts then, Kate? Hello then, Katie. Well, first of all, gone are the days when Angie hit the headlines by signing big name players like Samuel Eto and Villian. That seems to be all over. And it's not just no longer big signings, it also means wage cuts. So all these big earners, they'll be going. Samuel Eto earns a reported 10 to 20 million dollars a year. And it's not just the big name foreigners that we're going as well, it's also Russians. The Russian football system means there's a quota and you have to have four Russians on the pitch at any one time. This pushes up the prices of the Russians and their wages. So they've got to go too. So three internationals, they've already left Angie. So if you don't have established players, where do you get your team from? So the emphasis now is going to be on youth investment, youth development. Mm -hmm. As part of the Angie project, Mr. Karimov said, we're going to put money in local players, in local Dagestan players and encourage them. And they could also be returning to Dagestan because currently all Angie's players live and work and train in Moscow and fly to Makachkala some 800 miles away for their home matches. This looks like that could be at an end as everybody goes local. Well, just having, uh, I mean, I'm not an expert, as I say, but just looking at, at the league table and the stats, the goals and all of that, even with all these millions, they haven't done particularly well, have they? Well, that's only really so far this season. When the announcement came in, four games had gone so far, two defeats, two draws, two points from a possible 12, eight yeah. points adrift from the top already, fourth bottom. However, there's a tendency to look at Angie and Suleiman Karimov and compare him with Roman Abramovich and Chelsea. Well, you can't. When Abramovich bought Chelsea, it was an established club, established history, established mm -hmm. fan base, everything was established. Angie wasn't. And let's face it, last year they were title contenders for the first part of the season. They ended up coming third. They're in the Europa League for two years running. Pretty impressive for a small club. And now they have Gadji Gajiev coming back, experienced coach, to steady the ship from Klia Sovetov. It's going to be an interesting season for us, but also for Angie. Kate Partridge, thank you very much indeed for your time. And that's it for this week's edition of Venture Capital. You can join me same place, same time next week. Have a great one. Goodbye.